Orange Beach has got it all. Beaches, golf courses, restaurants, and phenomenal fishing. Whether you're looking for an epic battle or a great meal, this tiny Alabama town on the Gulf of Mexico has got you covered. In our last video, we told you all about why Orange Beach is a top fishing destination. Today, we're going to share exactly what you can expect from your trip. We'll get into the ins and outs of the top fish species you can catch and when, hear from local captains, and check out some of our anglers' top catches. So if you're ready to get a first-hand look at premier fishing in Alabama and some of the best in the Gulf of Mexico, let's dive right in. But before we do, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to watch more videos about the hottest fishing spots around the world. It may be called Orange Beach, but it's the color red that dominates these waters. The fact that they call this town the red snapper capital of the world should come as no surprise, given just how many of these delicious fish call the waters around Orange Beach home. During the open season, which usually starts early in the summer and lasts until the recreational quota is met, anglers can easily dedicate full day fishing trips just to targeting red snapper. You're likely to limit out quickly, but don't let that be a reason to cut your trip short. There are plenty of other species you can catch in the same areas. Alabama is home to the most extensive artificial reef system in the US, and alongside the red snapper that live here, you'll also find a variety of grouper. Gag grouper are a common catch in the late summer and early fall, and you can also count on coming across red and scamp varieties. Much like snapper, grouper are subject to open and closed seasons in Alabama. For more information on that, you can check our extensive blog article or consult the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources website. We also have to give an honorable mention to triggerfish. You could drop a line for these bottom fish during the spring or fall open harvesting seasons. And not only are they delicious, but they make for a great target for anglers of all skill levels. So if you're fishing with kids, make sure to add this diamond shaped species to your target list. If you're looking for more action though, it's time to head even further offshore. It's going to be a trek, but we can promise it's worth it. If you're after yellowfin and blackfin tuna, the fishing starts getting good around the 75 mile mark. This is where you'll find many of the Gulf's deep water oil rigs, and overnight trips are the go-to choice for serious anglers in search of tasty rewards. Tuna seasonality and their presence in Alabama's waters in general has been up and down over the years, so be sure to check exactly what fish are biting before booking your trip. The cutoff rigs are also home to mahi-mahi and wahoo and even big billfish on occasion. So if tuna aren't on the cards, you can get in on some incredible action. Alternatively, the rigs around 60 miles out are another great spot to get your limits of snapper and grouper or battle it out with big kingfish and hard-fighting amberjacks. To take advantage of these remote and far out areas, make sure you're gearing up with a knowledgeable local captain with a good GPS system. Many of the oil rigs around Alabama are cut off and exact coordinates will make your journey much smoother. Up until now, we've told you all about the action in Orange Beach's deep waters but you'll be happy to know that you can still have an excellent time fishing inshore. The Perdido Pass offers incredible fishing where the Gulf of Mexico and Orange Beach's coastal waters meet. If you're a year-round angler, this is where you can count on coming for action throughout all the seasons. Speckled trout and redfish are staples of the inshore fishing scene here. Their peak season hits in the fall and winter, but you'll still find plenty roaming the shallow waters in the warmer months too. Another year-round fish you can set your sights on is sheep's head. This is a great species to target if you're teaching the kids to fish, and they make for excellent table fare once you get home. And if that's not enough for you, flounder, pompano, and even tarpon make appearances at different times of the year. So as you can see, Orange Beach fishing has a wide variety of experiences to offer throughout the seasons. But the one thing that stays consistent is the need to follow all the local rules and regulations. If you're fishing with a saltwater charter, you won't have to worry about getting a fishing license. Otherwise, all the anglers between the ages of 16 and 65 need to buy one before heading out. If you're looking for more information on getting an Alabama fishing license, or you're curious about which one is the best choice for you, you can always check out our full blog article. Fishing seasons and harvesting limits are pretty liberal in Alabama, but it's still important to make sure you're respecting dates and numbers. The easiest way to do this is by heading out with a local captain. They'll make sure you're staying in line with Alabama's fishing regulations so you can focus on what you do best fishing. So if you're about ready to find and book your Orange Beach fishing trip, you're in the right place. Fishing Booker offers the largest selection of fishing charters in Orange Beach, so you can search, compare, and book your fishing trip either by downloading the Fishing Booker app from Google Play or the App Store, or by visiting fishingbooker.com. 
With hundreds of local guides, verified reviews, and hassle-free online bookings, you'll save time and money and experience an exciting day on the water. So go ahead and download our app or visit us online and start planning your adventure today.